National Flight Day is an American holiday commemorating the development of aviation and remembering the birthday of one of the Wright brothers, Orville. President Franklin D. Roosevelt of the United States declared August 19 to be National Aviation Day in 1939. On December 17, 1903, American brothers Orville and Wilbur Wright successfully piloted a 120-foot, 12-second flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, after four years of research and design. The Wright brothers achieved the first powered and controlled flight with the Wright Flyer, a heavier-than-air flying vehicle. People have previously only flown in gliders and balloons. The Wright Flyer was regarded the first actual airplane, and it served as the cornerstone for subsequent aviation designs. Airplanes were primarily employed for military purposes when World War I broke out in 1914. Airplanes were dubbed the new flying machines. During World War I, aircraft were immediately recognized and developed. The military increased the strength and size of motorized planes, allowing them to reach speeds of up to 130 miles per hour. Civilians grew to connect flying with bombings and surveillance throughout the war, making commercial flight less popular. After the war, Europe had a considerable excess of airplanes. In order to safeguard the American aviation industry, Congress authorized $100,000 for experimental air mail in 1917. On May 14, 1918, President Woodrow Wilson boarded the inaugural airmail voyage from Belmont Park, Long Island, to Philadelphia and then to Washington. From then on, the United States Army and Postal Service began to establish transcontinental air services to take use of the massive surplus of warplanes. Charles Lindbergh became the first pilot to cross the Atlantic Ocean from New York to Paris on May 20, 1927. It was the first non-stop transatlantic journey in an airplane. His success made him famous and an American hero, piqued the interest of investors in the aviation sector. His flight spanned 33 hours and 29 minutes before landing at Le Bourget Field in France, just west of Paris. Amelia Earhart rose to prominence as a prominent aviatress in the United States throughout the 1930s. She was the first woman to sail across both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Unfortunately, she died in a plane crash in 1937 while aiming to be the first person to fly around the world. The first modern passenger airliner, the Boeing 247, was completed in 1933. It could transport 10 passengers and travel at 155 miles per hour. American Airlines created the DC-3 type in 1936, which quickly became the leading commercial aircraft in the United States. When World War II began in 1939, the majority of planes were utilized as bombers and fighters. In the United States, aircraft manufacturers manufactured 50,000 planes each year. Aside from mass production, several improvements in aircraft design occurred throughout the conflict. Planes became quicker and more capable of flying higher and further. Jet engines and radar were also added to military planes. Hans von Ohain was the first to build and test a jet aircraft for the Germans in 1939. Ohain was a pupil of British aviator Frank Woodall, who created the first jet engine by practically applying Isaac Newton's rules of physics. Pan Am purchased the Boeing 747 in 1969 and became the first commercial airline to use it. It could carry up to 450 passengers. Aero 
Aerospace aviation is now man's future technology. Space exploration and tourism are becoming a reality as technology advances. Every August 19th, the United States celebrates National Aviation Day to commemorate the birth of Orville Wright and the development of the aviation industry in the United States. Americans and aviation lovers are invited to commemorate the history of aviation on this day. Activities are frequently available at airports and aviation museums. Aviation-related materials are studied in educational institutions to help pupils enjoy aviation. The day is ideal for individuals with pilot's licenses to enjoy a flight with family and friends. Children like creating model airplanes out of paper materials in addition to visiting aviation museums. The new Polish Constitution of 1997 established a representative democratic type of governance. The political structure revolves around the Council of Ministers, which is chaired by a prime minister. The president is the head of state, who is elected by popular vote every five years. Today, Poland's president is Andrzej Duda, and the prime minister is Mateusz Morawiecki. Polish voters elect a bicameral parliament with 460 members of the lower house, Sejm, and 100 Senate members, Senate. When the newly elected president takes the oath of office, when an accusation against the president is presented through the state tribunal, and when the president proclaims inability to fulfill required duties due to health difficulties, a joint session, also known as a national assembly, is created. Aside from the Wright brothers, several other persons have made their imprint on aviation history. Leonardo da Vinci was a famous Italian artist who invented the air screw around 1490. Regrettably, his aviation plans and discoveries were not discovered until 400 years after his death. In 1902, a New Zealand farmer named Richard Pierce created the first petrol engine. His initial flight, however, was not sustained and recorded. Pierce had his first official recorded flight months after the Wright brothers' breakthrough. Prior to Amelia Earhart, a New Zealand aviatrix named Jean Batten set multiple world records for solo flights. She was the first woman to get the Federation Aeronautique Internationals medal in 1938. In 1908, the Wright brothers' main adversary was Glenn Hammond Curtis. He was most recognized for developing the first practical seaplane capable of taking off and landing on aircraft carrier decks. Curtis was dubbed the father of naval aviation because of his flying boats and the JN-4, both of which were used during World War I. Bessie Coleman was the first African-American woman to obtain a commercial pilot's license. She was a stunt pilot who earned the nickname Brave Bessie. Otto Lilienthal, long gliding flight designs, Frank Whittle, creator of turbojet engine, Harriet Quimby, first woman to fly over the English Channel, Sally Ride, first American woman in space, and Neil Armstrong are among those who have made significant contributions, first man to step on the moon. According to NASA, every commercial airplane in the United States has NASA-developed innovations such as the glass cockpit, chevrons, and winglets. English is the de facto international language of aviation. Dutch KLM Airlines, formerly known as the Royal Aviation Company and founded in 1919, is the world's oldest airline currently in operation. 
In 1930, United Airlines employed the first female flight attendants. Because it was the first large-body aircraft manufactured, the Boeing 747 was also known as the Queen of the Skies or the Jumbo Jet. Aviophobia is the fear of flying, whereas acrophobia is the fear of heights or being too close to the ground. Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport was declared the world's busiest commercial airport in 2012, with over 95 million passengers per year or more than 260,000 daily travelers. Qantas Airways was the first to establish business class in 1979, and it was quickly followed by British Airways and American Airlines. The world's fastest airplane, the Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird, travels at 2,193 miles per hour. The Airbus A380 is the largest passenger airplane, with around 4 million pieces. George Cayley, an English aviator who created the first glider capable of flying short distances, was known as the father of aviation. British Airman John Alcock and Arthur Brown flew the first non-stop transatlantic airmail mission from Newfoundland to Ireland. <laughs>